In Pensacola, Florida, a 43-year-old man named Marlon Purifoy had discovered that his longtime girlfriend had been unfaithful to him, and after confronting her, he claims that instead of being apologetic, she began to taunt him and show him videos and photos of her being intimate with multiple men, and this led to him losing his temper and grabbing a hammer before hitting her with it over two dozen times and leaving her to be later found by her nine-year-old daughter. Either way, she was showing you pictures of her having sex with other guys. Yeah, okay. three or four, four or five guys at one time. How that make you feel? First thing is, you have already made a step to come and give your side of the story. That's what we want. Because, yeah. like I was telling you at the jail, there's always two sides to every story. We want to know, know yours because it's not fair. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, I want you to <clears throat> feel comfortable with talking and just giving your, being completely honest. Because that's going to help you in the long yeah. run. That's not okay. She's showing me the videos that she missed with these dudes. You know yeah. Know like six, seven dudes at one time. Some of the videos. Gang bang almost. Yeah, gang. I'm telling that's what I'm trying to show y'all. You know what I'm saying? I snap. I man. believe you. I snap, man. I I was choking her. I snap. I you know what I'm saying? She had she had the hammer right back there. Man. Where was the hammer at? Right by her left. And I snapped, man. I'm trying to do it right, man. So I did that, man. And then you got out, you started working. Yes. Trying to provide for her. She threw that right in my face, man. You she know. been doing that stuff behind my back. I ain't even know nothing about it. Even if she was. <laughs> And I was hot. Have y'all ever been physically abusive to each other before? This no. Was the first time? I always look out for it, take care of, cook food, everything. Just do everything for I didn't mean to do it like that for real, man. It was high click, man. Just looking at something like that, man. I know. That's, nobody would want to see that. See one of their loved ones I doing swear, that. I swear to God, man. I swear to God she showed me that, man, right in my face, man. I know. She's going to die, huh? Or if, if they decide to keep her on life support, she's, from what I'm being told, she's not going to have any functions. She's already suffered a couple of strokes on both sides of her brain, which would make her not have any functions and stuff. How many times I hit her? The doctor is saying almost 30. 30 times? Mm -hmm. I think you used the other side of the hammer, the claw part. Yeah. And did some pretty bad damage. There's a lot of blood. A lot of blood. I just feel bad because the kids went and saw it afterwards. They're, they're pretty shook up about it. It's hard to see their mama like that. Just unresponsive and trying to gasp for air, basically. No, I'm going to let you call your mama. What do you think they're going to do to me, to be honest? Well, right now we have, we've had to charge you with attempted murder. Mm. Um, if she does pass away, it's going to be murder. While the woman whose identity wasn't released to the public didn't pass away, she suffered life-altering traumatic brain damage that took her ability to perform most simple functions such as walking and talking away, and Marlon was eventually found guilty of attempted murder and sentenced to 30 years in prison. In Houston, Texas, a man named Mark Castanello had gotten into an argument with the mother of his child named Michelle Warner at the apartment the two shared with their three-year-old son named Caden. During this argument, Mark would snap after Michelle would allegedly insult him repeatedly for being a poor father, leading to Mark taking Michelle's life with his bare hands and explaining what exactly he did to her after being arrested. She got up and um, I got up and... Um, She's getting dressed and she's finishing up and she's still yelling and Katie's hiding. I grabbed her and I broke her neck. I told me I was a sorry and that I would she was gonna control me the rest of my life and I grabbed her by her neck and she said and just went through on the bed and so she's facing you. Yeah, and I heard it pop, and then she just, her tongue pop, it popped out, and that was it. Okay. I mean, I sat there and held it, and by the time I realized what I did, she was dead. Look at me, man. Look at me. I'm sorry. 
Um, give me the death penalty. That's fine. Look, look, I deserve it. Look, I'm proud of you. I deserve it. Your your life's not over. Show me in the room where she was. Mike, here's the bed. Here's a closet. Here's that door going to outside. Okay. I walked in, and that's when I grabbed her, and then I threw her on the bed right there. I know this is painful, but I wanted you to demonstrate for Brian what happened. I push her and then grab her and then I fall down on the fall. I know you're not going to do it because I got my brother Phil here to help me out. All right. And then I like you know sit there. And, and then I'm, what did she do? Well, when she fell down, I heard that, and then her tongue stuck out. My After ending Michelle's life and admitting to it. Mark was shown some leniency in his sentence and was only given 27 years in prison as it was deemed a crime of sudden passion by the courts. In Osceola County, Florida, a 19-year-old substitute teacher named Saeed Asher had been accused by an 8-year-old girl of putting his hands up her skirt while explaining an assignment to her at his desk and after the girl told her parents, the parents alerted the school and police and Asher was arrested and interrogated and this is where he would admit to it and give the breakdown on his perverted actions. But if you really care about making it better, be honest. If you really care about making things right, be honest. I know he did. Tell me what happened. Inside her pants? Yeah. What is she saying? Something about it's cold or it was cold? Where did that happen? Outside or inside? South of this. Behind the desk or somewhere else? Beside the desk. What else do you do? Who did you do that to that day? Who did you do that to that day? On the 21st? Only one person? Yeah. Who was she wearing? The jeans. Mm-hmm. Beef. Yeah. And what? Yeah, jeans. Huh? And what else? T-shirt. Mm-hmm. So how do you put your hands inside her pants? How did that happen? She was wearing a skirt. She was wearing what? A skirt. I think said jeans. Thought. What kind of skirt? Was it a jean skirt or was it something else? I think it's a jean, yeah, jean skirt. Okay, so how did that happen? What was at the desk. Okay, but what happened? She came up to me, asked me a question. Okay. I told her to get your assignment and come here. Okay. No happened. Right to touch her. Mm-hmm. But how? how? Where do you put your hand? In her back. You're attracted to little girls. After being found guilty for his heinous crime, Saeed Asher was sentenced to eight years in prison and will be deported back to India once his sentence is over as he's not a documented U.S. citizen. In Columbus, Ohio, a man named Raymond Gates was accused by a 17-year-old girl of forcing himself on her at a get-together while a live stream was taking place. And after being arrested, Raymond would try to rationalize what he did while being interrogated, but would only end up further incriminating himself. The problem is that the video, she was live streaming at the time. Okay. A bunch of people saw it. Okay. Hundreds. All right. And yes, there is. She is sitting with you on the bed and stuff. But when it comes down to the point where you're actually going to penetrate her, she screams, no, stop. No, she, we were talking the whole time. I mean, 
Girls get, when you're, they mean she's a virgin and stuff, man. This girl came back to my house. She's telling me she wants to lose her virginity, man. They, like, she's ready to do it and everything. And then right a couple seconds before, and she's like, uh, she's like, I don't know. And she's telling me, yes, everything's cool. She's cool with making out. Wait, when, she, when she screamed, stop, please don't do this. It hurts so much. I was already what, inside what? of her at that point. I mean, like the, oh, no, stop. I'm already, like, inside of her there, man. That's already... Like, that's when she's like, oh, it hurts, which it hurts when a girl gets her virginity taken. She's telling me, yes, everything's cool. She's cool with making out. She's cool with us getting naked. She's cool with us being there. And then all of a sudden, you know, right, a couple seconds before, I mean, I'm sure she's, like, I'm sure that's what happens. Girls are like, oh, you know, I don't know, it's going to hurt and stuff like that. I'm like, it's okay. It's going to be okay. After admitting to not stopping, after the woman asked him to stop, Raymond was eventually found guilty and sentenced to nine years in prison for his crime. In Macon, Georgia, an 18-year-old man named Michael Brett Kelly along with his girlfriend named Tracy Jones were desperate for cash, so they both came up with the idea to rob Tracy's co-worker named Gail Spencer as she was the one that was responsible for handling wire transfers at the firm they worked at. And after arriving at Gail's home, Tracy came up with an excuse to use her co-worker's bathroom. And when Gail would let her in, Michael would follow behind and they would force her to transfer up to $1.4 million to them. But after stealing the money, Michael took it a step further and decided to suffocate the elderly woman with a bag, taking her life for no reason. And while apprehended, he was allowed by police to call his mother and explain to her what he had just done. What did you do, Doug? I killed somebody. Who? This lady. Why? I don't know, Mom. But you are, I'm on the phone by myself, I think. I don't know. All I know is I love you. I mean, I love you too, but, but why did you do it by yourself? I don't know, Mom. For money? By yourself? Yes. For money? Yes. Why would you do that, though? I don't know, Mom. Can you confess? Yes. Are you getting out? No, I'm going to prison for life. You said that? They did. They, if there's someone I can talk to. When they get back in. Who was the person that you did that to? This older lady. Did you know her? No. Well, did you just break in on her or something? I walked in. You walked in on what? I walked in on her and broke in her house. Why would you do that? I don't know, Mom. Your whole life? It's gone. Why? I don't know. Why would you do that? Because I was struggling and needed money. Nobody's struggling that damn bad. I love you, Mom. You need to call me. I love you. Huh? After being charged with murder, theft, and aggravated assault, both Michael and Tracy were sentenced to life in prison without parole for the senseless killing of 58-year-old Gail Spencer. 